I swear Frank Warren is trying to give Joe Joyce as little credit as possible. I mean, it's not a surprise, but it's still a head shaker. He's talking about Daniel Dubois' eye as if it was some type of accidental injury. Oh, if Daniel didn't have that injury, then, you know, it, it wouldn't have ended like that and maybe he could have won and this, that and the other. That didn't happen from some clash of heads or one big punch. No, that eye was a long time in the making throughout the fight, courtesy of Joe Joyce's jab. Joyce was landing accurate jabs from the first round consistently, constantly pinging the eye. So to say if Dubois didn't have that injury on his eye is ridiculous because he was always going to end up with that injury on his eye getting hit that often with Joyce's jab. So he needs to give Joyce credit for that jab and he needs to acknowledge the fact that Daniel wasn't able to do anything about it and that's why he lost the fight wasn't able to get his own power shots on as often as he'd like to and they didn't have the kind of effect that he wanted them to. And on top of all that, the fight was competitive and close up until that 10th round. If Daniel Dubois had toughed it out, even if he just tried to survive the next few rounds, Apparently, one of the judges had Daniel Dubois eight rounds up. I haven't checked yet on BoxRec if they've got the scores up on there yet. But apparently, one of the judges had it eight rounds, had Dubois up by eight rounds. That's crazy. Another one of the judges also had Dubois up, I think, by a couple rounds. And then the third judge had Joyce up. So, one of the scorecards there, absolutely scandalous. <laughs> you can see who they wanted to win. Uh, allegedly <laughs> but um yeah the way frank warren has reacted after this fight to me it's uh a head shaker you really want to give joe joyce more credit than that especially if that was joe joyce's last fight on his contract because you're not going to make him want to sign with you again by not giving him the credit he deserves so don't compound your uh your, uh, your misfortune, Mr. Warren, <laughs> by not giving Joyce the credit he deserves because you were backing openly Joe, uh, Daniel Dubois before the fight, which to me was really a big mistake. If you're promoting both guys, you want to try and stay as neutral as possible when you're going into a 50-50 fight like that between two unbeatens. You want to hedge your bets. But no, he was all in on the Daniel Dubois train and it came to a, sh a shudder and halt. It crashed. And now, you know, rather than give Joe Joyce the credit that he deserves, he's basically trying to say that, oh, well, that eye was the thing. And, oh, the eye. It just, all he, like, literally, in the post-fight interview, all Frank Warren did was talk about the eye. He hardly mentioned anything that Joe Joyce did. Isn't that a bit off to you guys? It is to me. It's just very off. <laughs> So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And let me know what you think about the scorecards as well. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. It's one thing calling for an immediate rematch if a fighter loses on points or gets knocked out. But when a fighter quits and isn't getting badly beaten up and they still quit in the fight and then you want an immediate rematch. And by the way, it's not Daniel Dubois who wants the immediate rematch, as far, at least not as far as we know at the moment. It's his promoter, Frank Warren, who's calling for the rematch with Joe Joyce. That, to me, smacks of desperation by Frank Warren. Because we know that he was heavily in favor of Daniel Dubois, which, as I've already said, I think is a, or was a big mistake. As a promoter, when you're putting two of your unbeaten prospects up against each other like that, from a business point of view, you want to hedge your bets. You don't want to come out and be overtly biased in favor of one of them over the other it's just bad business because especially in heavyweight boxing anything can happen and now as you can see frank warren absolutely sick as a parrot <laughs> he, he looks like he's seen a ghost frank warren after that fight so yeah him saying that they should have a rematch and all this kind of business who really wants to see a rematch has he even asked daniel dubois if he wants a rematch does he care about what Dubois is going through mentally because he's just a young kid 
22 years of age, I kept saying he was 23, he's 22, well, 22 or 23, I'm not exact, exactly sure which, but I heard Frank Warren in an interview just now saying he was 22. 22 years of age, he didn't have the vast senior amateur experience of a Joe Joyce, still maturing, trying to find himself as a human being, human being, never mind just a boxer. So, and you could see him breaking down gradually in that fight in the corner. He was looking more and more uncomfortable. His trainer, Martin Bowers, was looking more uncomfortable because he could see certain things in Daniel that he hadn't seen in other fights. And he didn't like the look of what he was seeing. You know, he saw the, the danger signs there. He saw the distress signals. And so to take a guy who's so inexperienced like that and fling him straight back in against somebody who just made him quit, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. This is not champion, world championship level boxing. This is not an experienced guy like an AJ or a Dylan White who's fighting at that kind of championship level or in the case of Dylan White just below. No, this is a young kid. And I think that putting him back in against Joe Joyce immediately, you really risk ruining him for good if you do that. It's difficult enough for the AJs and the Dylan Whites to come back in immediate rematches. But for a guy with far less experience, who's far less battle tested and far less battle tough. Yeah, I don't think that's a good move. And I think it's very cynical, to be honest with you, for Frank Warren to be even talking about stuff like that. Especially before he's even spoken to his fighter properly about it. You really need to sit down with your fighter the next day or maybe after a few days, after a week and ask them what they want to do. To immediately come out, oh yeah, look, the rematch should be great and rematch, rematch. It just smacks a desperation. Let me know what you guys think about that.